ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome the members of the Boys and Girls Club. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the members of the Boys and Girls Club. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Doug Wyke, President of the Board of Directors. Good morning, everyone. It is my sincere pleasure to welcome you to the 16th Annual Foundation of Friends Breakfast. Uh, first, let me welcome our table captains, our board members, and our trustees that are here with us this morning. This event wouldn't be possible without the generous support of our sponsors. We have two sponsors who have supported us each and every year, Coca-Cola Bottling Company and People's United Bank. I also want to thank several other event sponsors, Baker, Newman & Noyes, Heritage Plumbing & Heating, Central Paper Products, and Branded Marketing Solutions. It is now my pleasure to introduce a special guest here with us this morning who'd like to say a few words. Please join me in welcoming Joyce Craig, the Mayor of the City of Manchester. Good morning. It's such a pleasure to be here with all of you and see this full room. You know, when I took office about 100 days ago, uh, Christy, Shaylise, and Shayla from the Boys and Girls Club sang the national anthem at my inauguration. They are wonderfully talented young women, and it's such an honor for me to have them as uh, part of my special day, and it's great to have the opportunity today to thank them publicly in front of all of you. The Boys and Girls Club does outstanding work with kids and for kids every day in our community. We all know, and that's why we're here this morning. But to me, most telling is a response from kids themselves. I visit an awful lot of schools throughout our city, and so many kids have talked to me about their experiences at the Boys and Girls Club. Just yesterday, I was at West High School along with Alderman O'Neill and Alderman Barry, who are here this morning. And we spoke to Scarla. She's originally from the Dominican Republic. She told us how she goes to the Boys and Girls Club every day. She talked about how the bus picks her up from school and brings her home every night, except for Fridays, when she goes home at 9 o'clock after teen night. She loves Fridays. She added that she plays games, does homework, learns new things, eats dinner, and hangs out with her friends. Her friends from all over, all over the city very diff at all different schools. It was great to see how excited and enthusiastic that she was when she spoke about the Boys and Girls Club. And as an observer, to me, it really felt like the Boys and Girls Club was keeping her going. Scarla also mentioned um, and told us that her all-time favorite teacher was Mr. O'Neill from Hillside. And it's great knowing that Mr. O'Neill, Pat O'Neill, is also a club kid 
and it really makes it obvious how this all comes together and comes full circle. The kind and patient staff and, vo uh, and volunteers serve thousands of students every single year at the Boys and Girls Club. Of those students, 70% qualify for free or reduced lunch. 64% are 12 years old or younger. 43% live in single parent households. The Boys and Girls Club is well aware of the challenges facing our youth today, and they have made modifications to their programs to address these needs, providing meals, dental checkups, homework help, and more all to meet the growing needs of our community, while at the same time providing positive opportunities to lift kids up and help them succeed. The Boys and Girls Club works in collaboration with other youth service agencies, including partnering with the Manchester School District. And this is such a big opportunity. We've been talking about it for over 10 years, uh, but Diane and the Boys and Girls Club and the Manchester School District made it happen. Now, with parental permission, they're able to access school grades and attendance records for club kids to help them do better in schools. They conduct thorough report card checks and set up programs such as Power Hour and tutoring to increase academic success. For over 110 years, the Boys and Girls Club has been a safe haven for our youth in our community. By helping our kids achieve their best, the Boys and Girls Club is helping to strengthen our community by mentoring future leaders. The Boys and Girls Club is a true asset to our city and the services they provide are invaluable. Thank you all for being here today and for your support of the Boys and Girls Club. Thank you very much, Mayor. If you haven't been to the Boys and Girls Club lately, you really get to get over there for a discovery hour. Talk to your table captains because there are so many great things going on at the club that you, it's just a fantastic thing to see. So. Um, I would like uh, to ask members of the performing arts to the stage. These talented young people wrote a song about the club and they would like to perform it for you. What a great way to kick off the program. 
Let's hear another round of applause for the performing arts members, led by staff member Alanta, Alana Tintel. We have a full program this morning, so we'll take a few minutes now where you can meet the club member at your table who has a gift for you. Uh, grab some breakfast and then we will start the program in just a few minutes. <laughs> 